hi everyone you are welcome to the second part of the video and this has to do with the beam we are designing the beam with stand rcdc we are designing the gift house we're still designing the gift house with um stand rcdc so the name let's say beam house uh, let me just say beam design beam design and then the client you are the clients youtube viewers and then the engineer that is me read one Tishion. okay so the beam that is not okay this gift house so you pick the beam so you go with the beam so i'm designing the beam at the third level so create new project okay so if that is done so these are all your beams this is the um interesting part of it whenever you have a beam you can see this is beam one this is beam two this is beam three this is beam four this is beam five because the beam breaks at every column point all right but since everything is on the straight line it will group it as group one so that's why you can see group one so under group one you have beam one beam two beam three beam four beam five then you have the group two so this is group two you have the group three this is group four then group five you understand so up to um group 10 so that is that is good enough then um you have nothing to change here just come to settings then go to general reinforcement so here what you just need to check here is the randolph change it to 25 and then the minimum mean steel mean steel change the minimum to 16 and then the maximum let me leave it in 20 then the share reinforcement that is the link right so let me leave the minimum in 8 and then the maximum in 10 then the skin reinforcement which is sfr that is the skin reinforcement that will be placed at the middle what we call runner mostly called runner that's skin reinforcement so let the minimum be um let the minimum be 12 and the maximum let it be 16 all right so the minimum spacing and the maximum spacing let this be as it is then your cool um the beam you can change this to 25 and then this let's change it to 410 the thickness the cover is good with this and then 17.25 that's what i want for my maximum aggregates i that's three quarter inch inches okay so if that's okay so click on okay um one thing you should be careful of here is whatever diameter you choose make sure you pick it here if you pick 16 20 8 10 12 16 come here to pick it you understand so but let's assume um 16 i need 16 right so let me deactivate 16 here and click on okay you can see what it brings you can see what it brings so make sure you click here uh -huh, and then you say okay so we are going to go this way all right so you can come to rebar curtainment well you don't have much to do but if you want to curtail it instead of saying you know whenever you have an end support you want it to return by l over 4 you know what we usually call 0 0.25 l that is you know when you are detailing so if you don't want it to be l over 4 if you want it to be l over 6 you can change it this is just about curtailment you understand this is this has to do with the way you want to detail all right that is good enough and uh, you come to detailing and drawing settings all right what well, you can change you can change this to 25 all right leave all this as it is you can leave all this and if you want to change you can change yes and then the lap mark just leave it as none yeah definitely so the rebar bar mark this change this one to y okay so you can have something like this 25 y 10 like for example so you go your shear as well change this to y change this to iphone okay then four lengths you know the length this is like 25 ma four lengths like four legs sorry four legs y10 then y20 spacing all right then center to center now that's not bad so you can leave it this way then what about your skin reinforcements change this one to y all right then i usually put iphone at the front of this okay so that i can show like this you know without the iphone um without the iphone you can see it's just the white thing ef that is kind of you know it's not looking good but at least let there be an iphone before the e so you can have it like this right so click on ok then um ok so go to settings again then preferred bar spacing you can leave that so now you come to basic load casing then you transfer this load this dead load you have to choose the load type say it is dead load the self weight is also a dead load 
transfer right then the live load is a live load right so you transfer this you transfer this and then you transfer this okay so you click on okay and then the design just click on add from analysis so automatically we've done the analysis and when we did the analysis i've factored the load that is all dead loads should be factored by 1.4 this should be factored by 1.4 you know self resources with dead load and this is a live load that factored by 1.6 i've done all this in start pro v8i i did the load combination so i just add from the analysis all right so click on ok and then since you are done just click on design Okay, so everything passes. So if anything fail, you are going to um, change it the way we did when we are doing slab. Just click on that and you click on design. All right. So you click on design, then you are going to change the thickness. Then you say accept. All right. So that's all. So let me just close that. So you can always come to check your annual elevation section. Let me say for this, I want to see the detailing. Also, I want to see the cross section. Sorry section you can see so this is the um, detail of the beam you can see you have two ices at the top you have two ices at the bottom then it has one skin reinforcement um, one thing about this um, software is that to me I feel it's at times over designed because a 450 mm thickness does not really need um, a skin reinforcement all right so what you can do is you can just um, you can just when you transfer this to AutoCAD you can just remove this and then you come to your section as well you remove this understand just leave it it will definitely pass without the skin reinforcement all right although it is putting white web you can see white web is not really important okay but it has been you know it is a template it has been programmed this way to always put a skin reinforcement so even if you have a thickness that is so small for thick um, for a skin reinforcement it will not pass all right so you can just allow it to put the skin reinforcement then you remove it later on when you are detailing okay so that is how you go about designing the beam. Thanks for watching.